Hi, good afternoon. Could I speak to Jay Alensky, please? Yeah, it's me. Hi, Jay. It's, uh, Hello. It's Jason Curtis phoning from South Africa to do the interview with you. Yeah. How are you? Fine, thanks. And yourself? Yeah, very well. This, this is good. This is good. Congratulations, first of all, with Mercy Street. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's, uh, it's great. Um, if I can, I know obviously you're a busy man, so um, I will uh, keep, keep it uh, short and to the point. But um, I have to ask, after reading uh, through your biography, um, why, off, why after so much success did you choose to change your musical direction? Was that uh, not risky for you? Yes, it's it is risky, <laughs> definitely. But I mean, it's uh, I mean, it, it's the duty of an artist to to try to go further in his art. So I think uh, I, I don't know. I, I didn't know where I was going, but uh, you know, I was going. So I mean, uh, I mean, I was I, I, I became kind of bored with what I I did, and uh, I was bored in big big studios, and I was. You know, so I wanted to completely change. So I think it's the privilege of an artist to suddenly completely change his way of working and his, uh, his goal. Mm -hmm. And so far, has it, has it been a good move for you, do you think, so far? Hello? Hello. Hello. Sorry, Joe. Um, yeah. So Hello. Has, has has it been um, has it been good so far to to be in the situation that you're in now? Uh, what do you mean exactly? Um, since you've moved, I don't I, I yeah. don't hear you very well. Okay, I'll I'll speak up for you. Um, okay, thank you very much. No problem. Um, as I say, yeah. now having moved away from big studios and things like that, are you are you happier now? Yeah, I'm happier, definitely. I'm happier. I was happy then, but you know, um, I don't know, it was a different world. It was the world of pop music and rock and roll. It was different. I had a lot of success in, in this in this area, but you know, I wanted, I, I, I was, as I told you before, I was, you know, I, I wanted to change. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's it. Mm -hmm. and, and the recording medium that you've chosen uh, to, to work with uh, Aaron Reminiscent drive is is actually uh, very interesting. Why did you choose to uh, to work that way? At first, it wasn't on purpose. I mean, I just decided to, to quit the big studios, and I wanted to have a place to to to, to make some. Light equipment, right. some very cheap equipment, mm -hmm. and uh, and I began to make music, and suddenly there was that new music that was coming uh, through my hands, right. music, and uh, and uh, and I was very happy with the sound. I was very happy with uh, with that, with what I had. So I said, why why change? Right. So right. that's why I recorded all the all the album uh, and all the the three first EPs on that eight track cassette machine. Mm -hmm. which is a very unusual way to make records. Sure, especially in the 90s, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mercy Street, you know, when listening to the album, it, it comes across as being more of a, um, well, it comes across as a, as a soundtrack of sorts rather than, say, a traditional album. Uh, would you sort of agree with that analogy? Uh, with the soundtrack of? Um, it comes across um, as if it were um, a soundtrack rather than, say, a traditional um, a traditional oh. album, if you know what I mean. Yeah, 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 I know what you mean. Um, yeah, yeah, you, you can say that, you can say that, <laughs> but I mean, yeah, a soundtrack of what? Yeah, yeah, no, that's something. Of, of life. Yes, yeah. Uh, some yeah. track of life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, some, tr yeah. Uh, some track of my life. Uh -huh. Some journalist has said in France that it was like kind of a diary or something like that. Yes, yes. Maybe it's, maybe it's like this. Right, yeah, no, pretty much. I mean, that's to say when, when listening to it, it's something that you can have um, either playing in the background or you can actually sit down and absorb, uh, you know, each of the tracks directly. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's true. You can you can listen to the record both ways. Mm -hmm. And.
and 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 if you sort of had to sort of sum up uh, the sound that you've created with uh, a reminiscent drive, uh, where would you say it actually fits in um, as far as the sort of commercial aspect of it is concerned? Um. You mean that... I, I didn't get the question exactly. Okay. Yeah, sorry. No, no, it's fine. Um, if, if you have to sort of describe um, the sound yeah. of a reminiscent drive, um, how would you best sum it up? That's, that's, a, that's a big question. I say a lot of people ask me, well, how, how would you define the, the, that music or that sound? Mm. I, I can't answer. I mean, it's not my, my role to answer to that. But I mean, um, I, I, a lot of people say it's kind of ambient music. But I won't say it's ambient because my past as a songwriter, you know, um, I, I, I kind of work in a song format, you know, right. with uh, three, three minutes or four minutes long track mm -hmm. um, because I, I don't want people to get bored you know sure. so with the eight, sure. min, eight or, or ten minutes track as it's usual in ambient records yes so I kind of I kind of build my my tracks as songs mm -hmm. and uh, but it will be songs without singers yes. but it's not exactly it's not correct because mm -hmm. it's not exactly songs so I don't know it's it, I would say it's every musician uh, as a inside is is it had a, a kind of big music. I mean, I would say the big music that I've got in my head. It's it's, it's, it's this is a reminiscent drive. Yeah. I mean, it's a mix of a lot of things from sure. classical to to pop to jazz to uh, uh, ethnic music or um, Moroccan or Indian music. Or so I don't know. It's a mm -hmm. Was, was that sort of a, an important aspect to you that, that that it is basically just an extension of of yourself instead of trying to fit it into you know fitting in with what is happening uh, within other styles of music? Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's true. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a, it's my experience in in the music. I mean, it's my it's my life. Mm -hmm. Music has, has always been my life, and I'm completely involved into the Reminiscent Drive project. I mean, I'm, that's but you know, I, um, I, I've completely, you know, I've completely uh, stopped to work as a songwriter. I've completely stopped to to write songs. You right. know, um, um, you know three, three years ago when I changed my way of working, I completely stopped. You know, I'm very maybe excessive or something like that. But mm -hmm. I completely stopped to do other other thing. I'm completely involved in the Remington Drive project. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. but I would I would say that I would like people to listen to it like a kind of a meditation or something like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm, I re I'm very conscious of the power of sound and harmony and, mm -hmm. and harmonies and melody and uh, on, the, on the human mind. I don't want to sound pretentious. No, I mean, no, no. music is very powerful. You know, music is very powerful. Absolutely. So, I mean, you can, you can heal people with music. Mm -hmm. So, I won't say I make healing music, but I, I would say that I try to make music that makes people happy in the in the largest mm. sense of the, the, of world. the world. Right, right, right. Is it correct? Yes, yes, 100% correct. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the, the, the visual aspect is also important to you. Um, does, Very much. Does that actually help explain your music or do they work sort of equally, equally well um, separately, you know, the, the visual aspect and the music aspect? Yeah, what what I did three years ago is that I took a small apartment in in, in Paris just to work in it, mm. you know, and I, I play my music mm. and I make some pictures and I make my collages. There will be a, a book of collages that will be given with the um, I don't know if you if you know that, but it yes. will be given with with the records in right. in stores in Jan January. A book of collages, which it's it's kind of it's not exactly an explanation or a, a prolongation of the music it's, mm. it's more uh, parallel to the music you know mm, 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 mm. and I'm very involved in music and if we, we make concert with the uh, Reminiscent Drive project I mean there will be a lot of images behind mm. the musicians and uh, uh, that's very important right. photography collages drawings and videos and mm. that's definitely something that I want to so is it, involved in yeah so, so it is it is almost an extension uh, of the music no, 
No. Okay. <laughs> it can't stand. It can't stand by itself. All right. Okay. 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 <laughs> now you're what you're saying. Um, the spoken word and and obviously the samples that you've you know incorporated into into the album. Um, how did you actually go about selecting those and incorporating them into the tracks? Um, it, it means something. I mean, it, it has a, a every every sample means something in the um, uh, with the you know it, it has a very uh, it's very important. I mean, it means something. If people want to listen to the words of the samples, they mm. can they can listen to the words. I didn't mix them too loud mm. uh, because I didn't want to you know bother people with that. But mm. in another in another hand, it's very important. I mean, for example, there are there is a um, Tibetan uh, Lama, a Tibetan monk, right. who says something on, on one track which which is called uh, New York City Dharma. Yes. And he says a lot of things about Buddhism and things like that. Mm. It's very important for me because I'm very much involved in spirituality and things like that. So mm. it means something. If people don't want to listen to the word, oh, that's okay. You know, mm. they can appreciate the music by, mm. by itself. But I mean, if they want to listen, that's very important. That, that, that these are maybe some keys or clues to understand. And the, yes. the, I mean, the the, the, the the journey that because I, I wanted to, to build the record like, as a journey, you know, like mm -hmm. a, like a mercy street. It means that uh, you know that it's uh, nirvana, it's happiness. I mean, yeah. everybody's looking for mercy. Yeah, true. So mercy street, it, it means that you know, it means mm -hmm. that you we we are we are all on the same journey and we try to be better human beings or something like that, or right. we try to be happy or we try to to achieve. Uh, Mm. Immortality or something like yeah, that. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, so that's what it means. So the samples are here to 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 like comment on mm. on the on the on each step of the of the of the trip, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. each step of the of the walk. Or yes. I'm very, well, journey, I don't yeah. I'm very clear. No, no, you are. Yeah, it's, 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 it's okay. almost like a journey. Um, you know, yeah. on an album, sure. But now you you. you speak of it as being a project, will there be, um, do you anticipate doing um, more releases under a reminiscent draft? Yeah, yeah, of course, mm -hmm. of course. Okay. There have been three EPs and uh, this album, there will be a lot of singles okay. um, uh, taken from the album mm -hmm. and I, I will continue, definitely. Great. And the next one will be, I think the next album will be with vocals on it. Uh-huh, okay, yeah, because you are, oh, you, you are, you are a very, uh, you're an acclaimed vocalist yourself, eh? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I've, I've made, I've, I've made, <laughs> I've made a, a lot of solo albums in France. Yeah, it's true that I've been, I've had a lot of very good critics or very good, uh, very good press. Yes, yes, yes. But uh, uh, I, I don't know if I will sing on the next Reminiscent Drive album. I, I think there will be a lot of guests, of female, female singers mm -hmm. who will sing on it. Mm -hmm. And and I want to make the, I don't want to make a a, a three pop album. I just want to make like the, the same kind of music that a Reminiscent Drive with vocals. Mm -hmm. Okay. It will be mm -hmm. because, as I say, the um, you know, in in putting this album together, you obviously didn't tar target any any particular audience. Um, yeah, it's true. Yeah, you basically put it out there for, which is nice because then basically it, it can be interpreted by anyone who is willing to give it time enough to listen. Yeah, because uh, it's true. Because in France, the first reactions of people are very diverse. I mean, there are a lot of different people that appreciate the the album. Mm -hmm. it, you can have a very edgy audience for that, or very you know people that listen to pop music, or you know. So that's that's what is interesting. Mm -hmm. And also the use of, um, I mean, as you've actually put on the, the the sampler as well. No, no computer on this record. Was, was that important? Yeah. Was it important to you that you didn't use, um, you know, that technology? No, it was quite a kind of a joke with the with Eric Morand from F Communication. From F Communication, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, when I first met him, I said, I said, you know, I didn't use any computer mm -hmm. on this record, mm -hmm. and I said maybe you could, we could, we could put on the record no computer on this record, and he said, oh, it could be a good joke, mm -hmm. but people didn't believe it. You know, some people just don't believe it. They really? say, you know, it's it's not true. Yeah, because it's very difficult to now for a lot of people. It's very difficult. 
impossible to make music without computers. That's right. Um, particularly in, in this kind of music. Mm. Uh, and uh, no, no, it was a joke at first, and after that we we put it on every record because it was, you know. Mm. But uh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and and how does a track actually come together for you? You know, what is the catalyst to a songs uh, a song being created or a track being created? So that that is a big mystery, and I would say that it's uh, that it comes through my, you know, I don't know. I sometimes I, I come to to the apartment in the morning, and I just, you know, I, I open the, the 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 keyboard, and I just start to play. I don't know what, you know, it's very mysterious. It's kind of, I would say it's kind of a mystical feeling. I I mean, it's I don't know. It's very something comes through my hands, through my body, and it, it music is suddenly, I don't want to sound pretentious, but I mean, it's, mm. it's inspiration, I would say, I'm inspired by something from other, maybe other, another force, yeah. other dimensions mm. of, I don't know, mm. but I very much believe in that, I, I believe the music is, uh, you know, uh, an embrace, uh, music embraces a lot of, uh, Dimension, dimension. Mm. So I don't know how it, how it comes to me. I mean, it just it just does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's still a mystery. I mean, like music since a long time, but that's always the same mystery. You know, I begin to work on a track, mm -hmm. and three hours or four hours later, I, I finish the track, or maybe the day after, and I, I'm, I'm in a very special state. You know, mm -hmm. I'm in a, mm -hmm. like in a trance or something. Yeah, like that. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I don't know exactly what happens, but it's kind of magical, kind of mystical. It's a, it's something very much like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I feel it like this. Yes, 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 yes. And of of all the sort of musical exploits that you've had in your career, um, is this where you are, are happiest now, doing this kind of work and doing a reminiscent drive? Oh, I won't say that because I was very happy when I when I did some hit records or made, even when I made some some flops on I don't know but I was very happy in the past when I made songs but now now I mean I'm very happy I wouldn't be happy making songs I wouldn't be happy happy making rock and roll or pop records I, 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 it seems I've, I've been in in these territories uh, earlier and I don't want to be, I didn't want to continue so it's true that I'm very 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 pleased with with what I do now. You know, I'm, I'm completely happy in what I do now. Great, great, great. Jay, those are my questions. Um, but thank you very, very much for your time. Um, this is a yeah. great congratulations. Um, to oh, say thank I, you. I, I find it superb. I'm still sitting with the advance of copies. So I'm still uh, dying to see the uh, all the photographs and the artwork that you put yeah. together. Um, but just, yeah, I'm very happy with the picture. You will see the picture on, on the cover of the album. I'm very happy with that. So you will see. And these and these pictures were all taken by you, as you said. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, great, great. Thanks very much again, Jay, and um, all the all the very very best with us. Thank you very much. Okay, great. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.